Yeah. Yes. Do you ever get lost in a cloud? Often. Uh, I bet you, you have. I, just kind of, I'm always I bet you have. Well, you're not alone. They are not only magnificent, but they are full of meaning. In fact, clouds are a passion of our next guest. And with this new segment on Weekend Recharge, we hope to make clouds a passion for all you viewers as well. Yeah. Joining us now is Gavin Pretor Pitty, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society. Sir, good morning to you. We've been looking forward to this interview. I, I must tell you, we're so excited. But first, Tell us a little bit about the Society and how it came to be. Sure. Um, so I started the Society 10 years ago, and it's got 38,000 members now in 94 countries. And they're all united, Maria, in the belief that clouds are the most dynamic, evocative, and poetic aspect of nature. And when you become a member, you get a certificate, you get a pin, and members send in their photographs of clouds from all over the world. And Gavin, uh, you also have a cloud of the month, so what cloud did you pick for this month of May? Well, uh, we, yeah, every month we pick a favorite one, and the one for May is a, a formation known as a full streak hole. All right, these always get uh, our viewers buzzing. Tell us how one forms. Well, firstly, I'll tell you a little bit how it looks. I mean, it's like you taken, someone's taken an enormous cookie cutter and cut out an enormous hole out of a layer of cloud. Some people call them hole punch clouds. So uh, often you see a streak of cloud hanging down below the hole. And there is a fascinating explanation as to why it forms. Right, the water droplets up in the cloud are super cooled which means that they're liquid droplets, even though the temperature up there is well below freezing. Uh, the thing is that cloud droplets can refuse to, refuse to freeze um, until they come into contact with something solid. All right, and this can set off a chain reaction. And there's a really beautiful, neat uh, demonstration that you can do in your own kitchen uh, to show this chain reaction of freezing. You need to start with a bucket and a bunch of ice and some salt and some bottles of really pure water. So you might want mineral water or distilled water. You pour the salt into the bucket, uh, you put the water bottles in there, and you find that that salt will take the temperature down. You could put a, a thermometer in the bucket as well, and that will take the temperature down well below freezing. The salt will. Maybe when I did this before, it was minus 8 Celsius, which is, what, 18 Fahrenheit, something like that. 20 minutes later, you'll find the water will have cooled down to that temperature, and if it was really pure, it will have stayed liquid in a super cooled liquid state. Now, what you do is you take a tiny shaving of ice from your freezer and you just drop it in. And you'll see oh. the ice should freeze in one go. Hopefully, if it's worked, if it's pure enough, freeze in one go. It's an amazing sight. And you've created in your kitchen there, all right, the exact same chain reaction of freezing that gives rise to this full streak whole cloud, all right? Up in the cloud, it starts freezing in one place, perhaps as some ice crystals fall from a cloud above, and this sets, off a, a, uh, this sets off a kind of chain reaction of spreading. And so next time you see a cloud like the May cloud of the month, the full streak hole, you'll know how it forms. That is fantastic. Woo, you knocked our socks off, yes. Gavin. That was so fun. Gavin Preacher right. Penny, for the founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society, thanks so much for joining us on this Sunday morning and showing us a great got a demo you can do at home. The wow of weather. We'll be right back. Now at Boston Market.